Everyone seems to talk about digital minimalism, but what is it and why should you practice it? In this video we'll explore how digital minimalism can help you facing today's challenges. There are plenty of reasons why you should introduce more digital minimalism into your life. Here I'll focus on three. Reason 1. The world is a complex place. Existence is messy and it's confusing. It's easy to get overwhelmed in it like in a stormy sea. Minimalism is about building a steady island in that sea. Without a solid foundation, you can easily get swept away. How do you expect to do the things you like if you have to constantly swim against the current just to stay where you are? When the world is full of chaos and uncertainty, why not make that which you can control orderly and certain? This applies to minimalism in general, but why do you need to practice digital minimalism in particular? Well, what applies to the world especially applies to the internet as well. Do you know all the services you use? Do you have a clear overview which passwords you use where? Are your digital notes ordered or more like a messy room? How about your desktop? All these areas can get disorganized really quickly, leaving you with no good overview of your data. And this messy feeling in the back of your head that you're always forgetting something. Reason 2. Your focus is destroyed. Imagine for a second you're living in the 16th century and want to read a book. There's not going to be that much distracting you from it. I can hardly imagine anything in the 16th century being more exciting than a book. It's not like the male person's going to come in every three minutes shouting at you that your friends have left you new messages. Now imagine reading the same book today. Every few minutes your focus is pursed by... S sorry? Every few minutes your focus is pursed by... Notifications. And even taking these notifications aside, there are thousands of things that can be more exciting for you than reading this book. This is because for the last few years there has been an arms race for our attention. The world's best psychologists are working to make their company's apps ever more addicting. The goal is always to keep you on those platforms as long as possible. So if you're checking out a social network, just wanting to see something quickly, it won't be that quick. You wasting your time on social networks, for instance, is by design. Reason 3. Technology uses you. Well, there are two possible solutions to that. Either you're gonna live in a cave and never touch technology again, or you rethink your relationship with technology and use it merely as a tool again. Make it so that technology does not approach you, but you approach technology. Technology being a tool should also mean that it doesn't get in the way. Of course, it can be fun for some people to tinker with technology, but when I want to get something done, I would like the tool to be easy to use and reliable. I mean, you wouldn't want a hammer to boot for three minutes and then require you to set it up to hammer mode. You would just want to pick it up and use it. The same way a note app should just take notes, a mail app should just send mail and an operating system should just do what I want it to do and not force me to update it every few days. Conclusion. Why you need digital minimalism. Digital minimalism can help you eliminate all the distractions that are keeping you from the things you want to do and regain control over your digital life. It's about creating a firm foundation to build onto. It's about healing your focus to do what you really want to do. It's about using technology as a tool again and not be used by it. This has been the first part of a three-part series exploring digital minimalism with privacy. You've just seen why you need digital minimalism. Tune in next week on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or now if you're living in the future to see why digital minimalism and privacy have to go hand in hand. And the week after, we'll explore how to put the things we learned into practical action and apply them. So subscribe to see the rest of this series and more on digital minimalism, privacy and improving yourself and the world in a critical but constructive way. I won't tell you to ring the bell, because honestly it's part of the problem. I know this could hurt my channel, but I advise you to deactivate all distracting notifications, including YouTube. Just come back next week if you want to, mindfully and intentionally.
I'll be there. Thanks for watching.